Welcome back to UWF Hydrobotics. Today, we're going to install Ross 2 Humble Hawksbill. I'm installing Humble instead of Jazzy, just due to the fact that there are more instructionals and information online about it, and so it's easier to find support over Jazzy. However, Jazzy is newer. If you're working on a project and you plan to finish after 2027, Jazzy would be better to use because it's getting updates through 2029, whereas Humble is only getting updates through 2027. But if you plan to use Ross for longer, you can always upgrade at a different time or go ahead and get Jazzy now. But I'm going to be downloading Humble on the Jetson or Nano Super sent to me by NVIDIA. But if you're just planning to learn the basics, you can also use VirtualBox on a non-Linux computer to download Ross that way. Ross has an installation guide on their website that I'm following for the dev package. You can also build from source, but that takes longer. This right here is a publisher subscriber sequence to test that everything is working. Notice how the subscriber says it heard and the publisher sends the message. They also have getting started tutorials and the first lesson from the first few modules has some helpful downloads you probably will want, even if you do not plan to do all the tutorials or just re-downloading the software on a different device. I'm going to do the first one of each of these tutorials just to show the installation. This domain ID can be any number between 1 and 101. I just chose 90, but you can choose any of those numbers. The domain ID is used by DDS to compute the UDP ports that will be used for discovery and communication. I've included a link to an article that can provide more information on this choice.
The issue above did not seem to cause any problems later on, but if anyone knows a solution to this, please post it in the comments below. Here, you need to use sudo to run as an administrator. And that's it. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe.